you know, everybody's had so much devastation, and it's just, you almost cry every day. And I haven't had help, really. You can see this is like almost a month later, and I'm still trying to get walls taken down. And a couple, two weeks ago, the brick football team just appeared on my doorsteps, and I was like, oh my God, they're here. I brought some members of my football team with us today. We've been doing this. We've been at this for about two and a half, three weeks ever since the storm went. The first two days with the state of emergency, we weren't really able to get out, and uh, we were itching to just help out in any way we can. We had six players of our own uh, lose their houses, so it meant a lot to us to try to help them and uh, help the community. People are struggling, and we're fortunate enough to have our stuff, so we're going to help them out. And this stuff's so wet. It's still so wet. So we, you know, we've cleaned out over 40 houses, and uh, you know, it's the least we can do. I didn't get affected by the storm. Many of my football players didn't, uh, but they see firsthand their family members and their friends, the community um, that got hit. And uh, you know, this is the least we can do is help them clean out and remove sheetrock and stuff like that. And it means a lot to us, you know. I didn't get affected by this at all, and I'm just fortunate that. I had uh, this opportunity to like come out and like help everyone else who pretty much lost everything. They appeared again this morning and they've been a godsend. They've been wonderful, they're so polite, and as a team they're working together to help people. And they're just so appreciated. I can't thank them enough.